Hey there and welcome back to my channel! My name is Georgina, I'm the Honest Vocal Coach. I teach singing all day, every day, when I'm not making videos like this one. And if you want to work with me, you can. I have an online singing course which will guide you through everything you need to know as a beginner or an intermediate singer. The link is below. Plus, if you want me to critique your singing, I can do that. And it's totally private. You send me your clip, I will react to it, critique it, send you it back just to help you on your journey with your singing. All the links are below. And if you like what you see today, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. So today we're going to be looking at some Janet Jackson. Now this one was suggested by my honest children after the last Janet Jackson video that I did. Uh, this is from the Rosie O'Donnell show uh, and it's completely live. I have been totally told by the Janet Jackson fans, which I don't know if they have a name. Do Janet Jackson ha fans have a name? If they do, let me know. Uh, so we're going to be taking a listen and examining her live singing voice. Let's dive in. I get so lonely. Can't let just anybody hold you. You are the one that lives in me, my dear. Okay, so that intro had a lot of backing vocals in there. Not all completely in tune either. It's a little bit cringy in places. Uh, but it's completely live. Yay! Sitting here with my tears All along with my fears I'm wondering if I have to do without you But there's no reason why I fell asleep late last night now, I honestly think that she's using head voice the majority of the time. She's pulling her head voice down. Late last night. It's not a belty, chesty sound. It's more of a heady tone most of the time. Crying like a newborn child. I like a new... That's tough, going from vocal fry to that head tone. Uh, like a new that's not easy because you're skipping a register essentially holding myself close pretending my I'm so yours I, I want no one but you I get so lonely I can't let little bit of vibrato coming through there you don't always notice that from Janet just anybody home you are the one that lives in me Everything's quite kind of lifted. I get so lonely. It's all kind of like this. Anybody home? You are the one. You are the one. Again, she's using head tone, head voice. That lives in me. I still remember to that day. It's very, very gentle. Uh, I'm sure she's got a belt in there somewhere, but I've never heard it. In fact, it was a third Monday. You came along to be the one for me. It's a very well developed head tone. Now I'm so all alone. I'm so all alone. She struggles a little bit there because of where her range is. For me, I would go back into chest voice, all alone. But for her, it's all alone. She's still using the heady, breathy tone. I'm sitting here by the phone, calling, saying that you're okay. So I have the chance to beg and to stay. 
just imagine what her voice would be like if she really tapped into her chest voice and just belted it out. Oh, no one you. you. Slightly on the slidey side. The pitching was okay, though. So You could hear a little bit of chest voice there. Aye, was what I would do, but hers is aye. Head voice is fascinating. Very good control. You are the love that lives in me. But all in tight head tone. You are the love that. That's hard for me. Baby. And I know it's just an incredibly well developed head voice. I know I keep saying that, but essentially it is. I am so lonely with you. Uh -huh. Ooh, no, oh, 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 no. I get so lonely when I hear your name. Can't let the story of my story it sounds a little bit flat this part it sounds flat because it's kind of a push down head voice rather than if you was to just put it into chest voice it would have a bit more of a substantial substantial base to it My dear, don't don't want no one else but she's i yeah oh that so reminds me of michael i no longer So, essentially head voice pretty much 80% of the time. She didn't really use chest at all. It just didn't seem to be there, but she did use a touch of vocal fry. Uh, very interesting. I've never really listened to a voice that closely in something live like this because she does tend to lip sync quite often because of the dance routines, etc. Uh, you can tell how breathy it is as well. Uh, in head voice, you do have a lot more air release. So she's really, really learned how to get the best out of her head voice and the vibrato was nice and it's hard to get a substantial vibrato in head voice as well so I thought she did pretty well wasn't really sure about the backing vocalist though I don't know if it was meant to sound kind of out of tune in places but unfortunately it did uh, so what do you think of Janet Jackson's voice do you have a different opinion do you think she's doing something different than I think let me know in the comments let me know who you want to see on my channel and I'll see you soon